Blue Mountains Public Library. Happy Tuesday, and I hope you are all having a fabulous sunny week so far. So we are into our second last activity together. Crazy. We've had so much fun, it's gone by so quickly. So we are going to be making our very own bumblebee today. I think he is super cute. When you pick up your activity kit, your activity booklet is going to be all about flowers and bees. You'll have your word searches, your mazes, your color by numbers, all of that fun stuff. And then at the very back of the booklet is where you always, always, always find your kids clubhouse craft corner with the activity and everything that you need from home and the supplies that we've provided. And then we have to remember our wonderful bookmarks. So this week it's dry your very own flower for your bee to pollinate. Be as creative as you want. Super fun. So we will be providing eight popsicle sticks, one black pet cleaner, one set of googly eyes, and then a half sheet of mylar paper. What you will need from home will be a pair of scissors, if you have yellow and black paint, wonderful, you can paint your popsicle sticks. If you don't, you can always use a yellow and black marker or pencil, pencil crayons work and so do crayons as well actually. They work really, really well. Um, you'll need white glue or a glue stick or if you'd like, you can always use a hot glue gun. But if you use a hot glue gun, just remember to ask a grown up to help because we never want to burn our little fingertips. So you guys run. Grab your supplies, meet me right back here, and let's get started. All right, friends, so in this week's kit, you will have a pipe cleaner, some googly eyes, and some popsicle sticks. You'll also have a clear um, sheet of mylar, and don't forget, you always have your super fun bookmark. And on the back of this week's bookmark is dry your very own flower for the bee to pollinate. Lots and lots of fun. So our very first step will be to either paint or color our popsicle sticks yellow and black. So I have already gone ahead and painted my pop popsicle sticks, sorry. So you guys go and get yours ready and meet me right back here and we'll get building. All right, friends, so we are off to our very first step. So once your popsicle sticks have dried, if you painted them, we're going to take them, flip them on over. And we're going to take our extra popsicle stick that we have, snap it in half, and we are going to glue it. I've made a little bit of a mess of my finger. We're gonna glue it onto the back of popsicle sticks. Now just remember, if you're using a hot glue gun to always make sure you have a grown up around to help you. And if you don't have a hot glue gun, that's okay because white glue works just as well. So there we go. We have our popsicle sticks glued together. So let me just get that out of the way here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our sheet of mylar. We're going to take it, fold it in half, just like that, and we're going to cut out. A heart. And then where the fold is, take your scissors right through, snip it in half, and there you go. You have your wings. Hard to see, but they're there. All right. Next step, we are going to take the 
pipe cleaner. Cut that in half too. And we're gonna curl. The end down. And I'm actually gonna snip this piece off right there so he can have a stinger. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. Curl, curl. And to make sure that they match in length, we'll just trim it as so. Wonderful. So let's save our stinger. So we are now going to attach our googly eyes. And they will require a little bit of glue. So there's one eye. And there's two eyes. Get my hot glue webs out of here and off of my fingers as well. So once the eyes are attached, we can go ahead and position our antenna. And I think I'm gonna do mine to look like that. So I'm gonna put a Dab of glue on the back there. Very carefully place the pipe cleaner into the log of glue. Just just so. And I'm just gonna give it a couple of seconds to dry. All right, and now we are ready to pop our wings on. So a little bit of glue on that side of Mr. Bumblebee. Get the mylar on there, turn it over again. A little bit of glue on this side. Stick the mylar there. And since we have two small little pieces of pipe cleaner, I'm actually gonna give my guy a little bit of a smile and you can too. If you don't wanna use the pipe cleaner, you can always grab a marker, give your bumblebee a really, really, really cute smile. And then our very last step, we're gonna attach his little stinger right down there. All right, once you attach your stinger, we are going to, well, first of all, we're going to flip it over and have a good look because it's adorable. And then we're gonna set it off to the side to dry. Well guys, there you have it, our super adorable bumblebee. I don't know about you, but I think I'm gonna keep mine and use mine as a bookmark. And every time I go to open the book I'm reading, He's gonna make me smile because he's super adorable. I hope you guys enjoyed that craft today and I can't wait to see you guys again next week for our final Kids Clubhouse session. And if you guys are looking for something similar to do in the summer, just remember TD Summer Reading Club starts up June 15th. You can register online through our website beginning the 15th of June. And if you're wanting your own activity book to take home um, with a take and make craft, like very similar to the Kids Clubhouse Craft Corner, you can also head on over to our website and register for our Summer Reading Club virtual meetups. And every single Friday, you can meet me back here on YouTube for one o'clock where we can chat about our activity books and we can get crafting and get creating and get imaginative together. So remember, Check out our website for all of our Summer Reading Club programs and activities. 
because we do have a very fun-filled summer for you guys. Until then, bye! Thank you.